I know why someone will kill themselves. I know what it feels like. I remember thinking many times, what it would it be like if I just aimed my car at a tree and ended it? I know what it feels like to feel so helpless and hopeless that there's no point in living. Why? What's the point? If you're not going to be happy, if every day is a burden, if every moment is a burden, and if every conversation with someone leaves you sad or repelled or pushed away, you don't want to get up. And if, and if you were to die, great, it's over. I have experienced the challenges and stigma of mental health issues because I've been diagnosed with and treated for depression. I remember one Saturday morning uh, some years ago when I was at my desk and I was trying to read a memo and I could not figure out what was on the paper. I then went over to my couch and I tried to take a nap, but I couldn't fall asleep, and I also couldn't move. And I remember the feeling of being in a tunnel, and I couldn't see the light, and I knew I would never feel happy again. There seems to be a sense of mental illness being something you can control. And there's some sense that somehow you should be able to fix yourself. You know, you know, come on, it's a great day, it's beautiful, it's sunny. Our team just won, you should feel great. It doesn't work like that. Stigma in mental health makes it hard for people to get jobs. It makes it hard for people to hold jobs. It makes it hard for people to get relationships because people see the illness and not the person and people make judgments before they even get to know the person. Mental health issues are the greatest challenges that we face today. And it's made more and more severe by the pressures of the pandemic financial crisis. There's more of a problem with mental health issues than we want to know. We tend to ignore this stuff. We tend to bury it. We tend to be willfully ignorant because it's elusive. It's hard to get your hands around. People suffering from mental health issues are just regular people. Everybody suffers in one way or another. People may have high blood pressure, people may have diabetes, and people may have mental health issues. That just means they're regular people that have a challenge that they have to overcome. And that's important to remember. There's nothing that helps somebody who's struggling with early mental health issues more than hearing somebody else's story and realizing that it's natural, it's normal, and fixable. I don't think there are many people who aren't touched by this. I would guess that almost every family has or will be impacted by mental health issues. All of us need to be aware and to be watching and to be helpful and thoughtful. I'm really lucky to work at St. Mary's because it's got one of the broadest field of uh, mental health supports anywhere in the state of Maine. And we, we go all the way from an emergency room that has a specialized behavioral health emergency room that is staffed by mental health professionals, all the way to individual counselors and therapists. We've got psychiatrists that do medication management. We've got inpatient units that specialize in general psychiatry, chemical dependency, and even adolescent mental health issues. The range of services at St. Mary's is remarkable. We just cannot ignore this reality. We cannot look away. If we really care about our people, we will help them get the professional help that they need. To have St. Mary's as a resource for any employer 
and for any individual, it's fantastic. It's needed. And there's not enough help for all the needs that are out there.